Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It's Tuesday today. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. Leather Bag Lady weather report. Didn't start out that nicely today. It was really crummy, so much so that I didn't walk to the gym this morning. The alarm went off and I was like, hell no, because it's so dark already. That's so I can see. Um, it's so dark. And then when uh, I heard the rain, I was like, because eh, as you know, I park my car and then I walk to the gym just to get a little bit of a warm up. So I didn't do that this morning. I drove there and I went on the uh, elliptical and watched the Crazy Housewives for a little bit. And it just, I do sweat a lot more when I do that little bit of cardio in the gym, but I don't like it. So I still prefer to do my walk. So I missed the walk this morning. But anyway, got the workout done, left, and then had a dental appointment. I got there and it had been canceled. I guess I didn't get the message. So here I am, ready to kind of spend the rest of the day trying to get myself organized. I'm not thrifting anymore. Uh, I think I shared yesterday or the day before that uh, my the little bit of support I was getting because of COVID is now over. And I'm kind of in the shit a little bit, actually. But I'll figure it out. I always do. Here's me trying to cut down on my cortisol stress hormone situation because it's just making me heavier and heavier. Um, and there's not much you can do about the stress when you've got a mortgage payment in two weeks and not enough money to pay it. <laughs> so, anyway. But I have a lot of stuff here in the house. I'm just looking at the little pile of bags that I got when I was in Sarnia last week. And there's a nice little a nice little group. And with that being said, today's bag is part of that group. Now this bag is a little different than what I am usually posting. Um, full disclosure, I thought this little bag was leather. I thought it was a woven leather but it's not, it's wicker. It is a beautiful bag. Love, love, love the mahogany brown color. So much detail in this bag. I mean, look at that. There's no uh, markings or made in or anything, I don't think. Let me open the little zipper. Sometimes they put the, the uh, that information inside. Nope. So there's an interior pocket. It's all quilted inside. If you can see that little bit there. It's all this really pretty quilted stuff. Um, the top handle, there is a little bit of um, fading in the gold tone on the metal. Just the touch point here. But it's still very much a gold uh, look here and, and going up the handles. And gold is very much in now. I think that minute of rose gold popularity kind of set us up for a resurgence of uh, yellow gold. It's got a nice zipper across the top. Very easy to use. Just a super, super unique little evening bag. Can you imagine showing up to your next function with that? I'm sure. I mean, I don't, I don't wear bags for anybody to say anything. I wear them because I like them. But... It's always nice when somebody makes a comment that you've, you know, got a little bit of fashion sense and uh, you're wearing something that somebody thinks is cool. But look at the work that's gone into that. Just fantastic. It would be really cool if it was leather. But anyway, so that's bag number well, bag number one, the only bag today. So hopefully you're having a great day. It's a beautiful one outside, as I've said already. Not sure what the rest of my day will uh, contain. I got to do my list because as I shared with you yesterday, um, finances for me are um, kind of non-existent now. So I really am paying for dragging my ass a little bit. And it's not necessarily because I'm lazy. I'm just, I'm scared. And that's all part of this anxiety thing that I'm dealing with right now. I just... The technology kind of overwhelms me and um, and I just, yeah, I'm just a chicken and I've never been a chicken before, but I got to get over it because A, I got a mortgage to pay and B, I just know that these bags are so beautiful 
and I know there is such a market for them. I just have to get outside my comfort zone and find the people that will love these bags as much as I do and the pride I have in presenting to them presenting them to you daily is is really it's real you know I, I've got great taste and um, my customers have great taste too so been getting some really nice uh, reviews nice messages back I had a an amazing, very lengthy message from a gentleman who uh, was looking for a red leather messenger bag. You try saying that a couple of times in a row. And they had exhausted their search, or so they thought. And then thanks to the leather bag lady, I had just what his wife wanted. It was so cute. And um, I got that uh, last week when I was in... Um, Sarnia and I forgot to mention it so I really do appreciate the uh, reviews it does help my business I mean let's face it if you're not comfortable with online shopping I'm not but yet you can see you know I think I've got 150 160 reviews um, you know two or three of them are not great and there's a, a reason for that unfortunately the uh, site doesn't let you um, I don't think it does. Now, maybe because my window is a selling window, I don't know if you look as a customer whether you can see my responses to any reviews because I always thank everybody for taking the time to leave a review. And um, if there's a negative review, I will always respond to it and um, try and be as uh, neutral as I can because they sting. They really do sting sometimes, especially when what has happened as happened previously with the lady who did not take the time to look at the strap drop or to watch the video. And all of a sudden I get a one star review because it's my fault. I'm not sure how that works. So but it does affect um, my standing. And as a customer, you want to make sure that you're spending your money with a reputable uh, store, shop, whatever you want to call it. So I really do appreciate the reviews. And it's great when, you know, a customer takes that extra moment to just give a real heartfelt story um, that goes along with the bag. So I, I absolutely love that. So with that in mind, I will love you and leave you. I've got a lot of stuff to do. It's all swimming around in my head. And I'm actually going to try and take myself off to the library now because normally I would go to the falls. Absolutely no funds for that right now. And um, yeah, not able to do that. So I still can't get any uh, amount of uh, creative, creative work done in this house. So I got to remove myself. So Hopefully the library we're allowed to sit in now. I think it's kind of the same thing as a restaurant. You find your seat, you can take your mask off. And then hopefully I will get some structural work done. It's just um, the logistics, the shipping policy, the return policy, the all this kind of stuff on this little project that I'm working on for the bags that are not vintage because I have just as many, if not more, of those bags. Uh, I think I'm down to like 350 listings on uh, Etsy. At one point I was almost at 400, uh, but I've slowed down listing because I was just very nervous that we would get shut down again. So I wanted to stretch my stock out as much as I can. And, um, and I've got hundreds and hundreds of bags that aren't, that don't meet that Etsy criteria. 20 years or older so working on a little something just locally just here in Hamilton the shipping is too much of a killer to be able to get the prices I would need on these more modern bags to be able to sink the shipping in with the price that's just not going to happen but if it's Hamilton based that's one of the things about living in a city that has over half a million people um you know, as much as I don't want to be here anymore and I've kind of outgrown Hamilton, um, I can't go anywhere. So I have to reverse engineer um, the fact that I'm in a city that is just huge and uh, the traffic and, the, you know, people are just not 
people are just not as happy as they used to be. So sometimes that can really drag you down. But anyway, enough of that. Have a great day, everybody. And uh, I will hopefully see you tomorrow.